Hello everyone, welcome to Zade's Element. I'm Zade, and today's element is The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker in its original GameCube format. I'm not playing the HD version. This is full on GameCube. Kiddo! Have I never played this game once on here? Perhaps this is not the right memory card. I don't know. Anywho, hopefully the sound on this video is going to sound alright. I'm not entirely sure how loud it needs to be. I probably should have done a sound test. I'm gonna do that right now, actually. Hold the phone. I checked it and I think it sounds okay. You can hear the music, you can hear me. Hopefully. It's so weird holding a GameCube controller in my hand. It's been so long. Well, yeah, it's not that long. Well, probably a couple years since I've played Super Smash Brothers with it. Okay, intro time. This is but one of the legends of which the people speak. Long ago, there existed a kingdom where golden power lay hidden. It was a prosperous land blessed with green forests, tall mountains, and peace. But one day, a man of great evil found the golden power and took it for himself. With its strength at his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. But then, when all hope had died, and the hour of doom seemed at hand, a young boy clothed in green appeared as if from nowhere. Wielding the blade of evil's bane, he sealed the dark one away and gave the land light. This boy, who traveled through time to save the land, was known as the Hero of Time. The boy's tale was passed down through generations until it became legend. But then, a day came when a fell wind began to blow across the kingdom. The great evil that all thought had been forever sealed away by the hero. Once again crept forth from the depths of the earth, eager to resume its dark designs. The people believed that the hero of time would again come to save them. But the hero did not appear. Faced by an onslaught of evil, the people could do nothing but appeal to the gods. In their last hour, as doom drew nigh, they left their future in the hands of fate. What became of that kingdom? None remain who know. The memory of the kingdom vanished, but its legend survived on the wind's breath. On a certain island, it became customary to guard boys in green when they came of age. Clothed in the green of fields, they aspired to find heroic blades and cast down evil. The elders wished only for the youths to know courage like the hero of legend. Oh my god, I nailed it! I don't think I messed up once! I'm so proud of myself. When it gets dark though, the light in the background is kind of reflecting, so I'm gonna go turn that off. Outside island! I'm back. Holy blurry! <laughs> Someone's fine. Big brother! Big brother! 
He's getting a good up close shot of the back of his head. <gasps> there he is. He's awake. <gasps> She's gone. Or is she? I knew you'd be here. <laughs> this is my favorite spot to gaze out at the sea. When I play with the gulls, I call it Errol Lookout. I'm calling her Errol. I'm not entirely sure how you pronounce it, but it seems Errol's a pretty safe bet. So, do you remember what day it is today? I do, it's her birthday. You're still half asleep, aren't you? Did you forget? Big Brother? It's your birthday! Oh, apparently I did forget. <laughs> I thought it was hers, not his. Well, it makes sense, though, that it's his birthday and he gets the clothes. What a dunce I am. That's why Grandma has been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. It's a good thing I came to find you. You should probably go home and see what Grandma wants, don't you think? Hi. Ha-ha! <laughs> It has been forever. Oh my gosh, I can actually do that. I did not think I'd be able to move the camera with the C-stick. Ah! <laughs> ah, I love it. Do, do, da, da. This game right here, this is what sparked my Zelda fandom. I've always loved Zelda, but this is the one that really... Gave me the kick on the shorts I needed. Hey, are you the snotty one? The one with boogers? I think the one with boogers is uh, on the other side of the bridge. I think he's back there somewhere. Hey. I would like a new 3D tune Zelda game. That would be so kick butt. It really would be. Because this is... I think this is the only one. Except for the DS ones, I don't really call that. Oh, there's the snotty guy! Get out of here, man. You wanna fight, huh? Wanna go? Wanna bump chests? Eh, eh. Or snot strings? Ew. Sick. Okay, I'm, it's gonna take a while for me to get used to this. Hmm. Upside down, five force. <gasps> Low roll. Um. Granny! It's been a very long time. Well, yeah. I haven't played this one in a long, long time. Oh, there you are! She's pretty spry from a old lady climbing up that ladder. I have been waiting for you, Zade. Zade. Try these on. In front of you, Grandma? It's kind of... inappropriate. Time certainly flies. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. How old is he? I'm assuming ten. He looks very unhappy. <laughs> you got the hero's clothes. They look like they might be a little warm for this weather. How are they any different than his clothes now? Is it, is it the hat? Is that what makes it warm? Don't look disappointed, dear one. Just try them on. While Granny watches. <laughs> Today is a day to celebrate. I think I'm starting to give her a funny accent. <laughs> it is the day that you become the same age as the young hero spoken of in all the legends. Well, I believe Link was ten when he became the hero of time, so... Well, he was too young to be the hero of time, so is Link seventeen here? That can't be right. You only have to wear them for one day, so don't look so down. Be a proud child. In the olden days, this was the day boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. But we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one on the island who still knows anything about swordplay. Hanging the family shield on the wall as decoration is another tradition that has been carried down from those days. He isn't too comfortable. Does all this make sense to you? It's like, uh... <laughs> isn't that nice, eh? They suit you perfectly. A perfect fit. 
Well, tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday party. I think I'm turning into a British old lady. <laughs> so I'd better start getting ready, shouldn't I? Your grandma's going to make your favorite soup for you tonight. Mmm. I just know you're looking forward to it. Now go get your sister, Errol. I think your voice changed a little bit. I, I'm, I'm terrible with keeping consistent with the voices. I am, but oh my gosh. <sighs> Tomorrow, today, right now, present time recording this, it is June 11th at like 9.30 p.m. Hi, Zaid. Press L. Right there and use A to talk to me. Try it. Okay, I think the voice did work great. <laughs> That's correct, you're a smart one. You, my friend, have just L-targeted me. Kinky. You see, when you press L, you can target certain objects. I, for one, use it quite often to talk to folks who are far away from me. Of course, even if there isn't anything around to target, you can press L to face forward, you know. It's quite handy indeed. There are a myriad of other ways to use L-targeting as well. Quite an ingenious little thing, if I do say so myself. Of course, that's not the only trick in my bag. Not remotely. I can teach you a few more things if you'll just climb up that ladder over there and drop by my room. Oh, dear. Grandma watches me dress. Now this old man wants me to come into his room. I have to go find my sister, okay? But bad things are going to happen. <laughs> this, this town of outs... This island of outset is just sick. It's real sick. So soon. My, my, my. I've... Oh, my first mess up, I think. If you're already old enough to be wearing these clothes, then it's going to be very important for you to gather as much wisdom as you can from now on. If you're to make your way in the world, that is a... I almost messed up there. Kind of blew that. Now, I've been studying a wealth of topics since long before you were born. I'm what you'd call... a brain of all trades. You're a smart little fellow yourself, aren't you? I've been thinking it's time for me to pass some of my wisdom down, and maybe you're the one I should pass it down to. You know, I really already know all this stuff. Kind of. I'll learn as I go. That experience is the best teacher. Chrome Dome. Everything that you see tacked to the walls here is something that I've researched thoroughly. And before you ask, yes, I do all my filing system. It's odd. Oh, messing up again. I'm losing it. Losing it all. Organizational issues aside, however, it's all extremely useful information. You would do well to read it all very carefully. Reading leads to knowing, you know. Oh, I... Oh, dear, what happened? Is it Orca in the basement? Holy crud. Such a rocket! You can't keep quiet! You've got everything off my shelves, you dratted hooligan! Honestly, the hooligan I'm referring to is my younger and much less intelligent brother who lives just downstairs. He hates studying all day, every day. The lout just exercises and practices with his weapons. Does he exercise his brain? No! The brain's a muscle too, I think. Anyway, the only thing he does study is the art of fighting. Right now, for instance, he's been studying fencing and whatnot. As if that's any of any use to anyone. He simply doesn't know how to do anything besides exercise. I ask you, what's a brother to do? I don't know what a brother to, is to do, but a link is to get the heck out of here. As I was saying, oh my gosh, tomorrow is June 12th. E3, I'm very excited. <laughs> By the time this goes up, I will still probably be just as excited and a little bit depressed because I want to be there. I want to be there, man. Next year, hopefully I can be there. I'm going to save up all my rallies. Rallies, by the way, are the currency in my book. I've been slowly implementing them, sticking them here and there in the books. I never really knew when it was a good place to put them in there. Rock! Hudson! Get off me! Kid, you're gross! Did I ditch me in the water? Oh, the controls. Are they? Yeah, I think... I think they're not inverted? Yeah, when I push right, the camera goes to the right. Whoa! Almost fell. So I think, yeah, I think... Is it usually different? Like in Breath of the Wild, that's, you know, what I've been playing mostly, so... It's usually what I go by, but I'm not entirely sure. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Sorry, girls. Time to see a bird. Ah! Hi, big brother! 
That's not her same voice. The crab will make that outfit for you. But wow, you look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes. I guess they're pretty neat though. So anyways, Aid, can you close your eyes and hold out your hand? Everyone's a sicko! Just for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think everyone's a sicko. I think I'm just a humongous sicko. I think that's what the problem is. I'm going to give you my most treasured belonging, but just for one day. Happy birthday! Thanks, little sis. You got the telescope. This is your sister's most precious belonging. Treasure it dearly. Set it to Y, X, or Z, y, Z or X, and use it by pressing whatever button you see fit to, is what I was going to say. Set it to. Do it now, and see what you can see. I will do it now. So, well, do you like it? It's great. It's great, Errol. Errol Finn. Errol Dolphin. I'm going to buy this special gift just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? I did it after that. Oh, why don't you try it out? Right now! Try looking over at that house. Over our house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Big brother, are you using... Up oh, on the control stick. Mm. Mailman! Big brother, are you... Yes, I'm using it. I can't move it, though. I can't, I can only zoom in, I can't move left or right. The postman looks kind of weird, doesn't he? Ah, sorry, the sky, look up at the sky! Oh, birdie! I forgot his name. I think it, I want to say it. Hair rocks. He rocks. <laughs> I think it starts with an H. I keep thinking of Hinox, though. Or Hinox, or it counts that. But I'm not entirely certain. The bird is getting smacked in the face. I get all scared, too. It's like, <gasps> Don't look back, Birdie. Boo! Ouch. <laughs> Link is pretty darn steady with that telescope. Oh my gosh, look at those trees. <laughs> I love it. Oh, yeah, we're good. Say, this is terrible. That girl fell in the forest. She needs help. But it's too dangerous for you to go in there without something you can use to defend yourself with. I'm on it, all right. Bombed. <laughs> That's how we heroes of time exit towers on out in the water. <laughs> What can I need the sword? The sword. 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 I need the sword now. Orca! Can you help a dude out? He always exercises, yet he doesn't look very fit, does he? Oh, what is the matter, Zade? You have an urgent look about you. Has something happened? He doesn't sound very heroic. Whatever it is, the look on your face, I expect, suspect it is no laughing matter. What say you, Zade? Ah, have you come for some serious instruction in the way of the sword? Yes, sir. Wong. <laughs> Let's do this. Very good. The first lesson shall be the horizontal slice. Face me and press B. Do not fear for my safety. I am ready for you. Good. Keep coming at me until you hear me say, Very good. I love the combos in this one. Very good. Next is the vertical slice. Hold out to target me, then press B. You know all the special attacks you can do, like when the button, the blue bu A button, like flashes and it turns like a starburst and makes that noise. Keep swinging! Very good. Next is a thrust. L target, then tilt up and press B. Come at me! Thrust with your sword! Very good. Keep thrusting! My head went in the gutter again. I was thrusting! <laughs> 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 
Next is the spell attack. Hold B briefly to build up your strength and release it. Or rotate joystick once and press B. Skipper! Very good. More, keep it up! This guy really wants it. <laughs> gutter, I'm in the gutter. I need help. I need help getting out. Next is harder. Ah! This is a parry attack. L target until you see A, then quickly press A to perform a defensive strike. Shigo! There we go. How does Link know how to do that? <laughs> Very good. And again, L target and watch closely for A. Oh, look at me go, look at me go, look at me go. Yeah! Slip! How does he roll in a circle like that, too? I think you just keep rolling to the side. Very good. Oh, finally, the jump attack. Draw your sword. L target and press A. Yeah! Come at me once more. This jump attack's pretty slow, isn't it? Pretty, pretty big though. He's got a pretty big, pretty good jump there. That was a fine display. And yet, I sense a certain anxiousness in the sword you hold, an eagerness that goes far beyond the mere desire to be wielded on the fields of battle. I do not know what has happened, but I have faith in you. Somehow, I doubt you will misuse that sword. You may have it, Zade. I give it freely. Take the blade with you. Thanks, Orca. You accepted the hero's sword. Will it be? Use it wisely and carefully. You don't want to let down the kind old man who has entrusted it to you. Since the olden days, this sword has been used to fend off evil. Its blade is infused with the desire to become strong and righteous. Be strong, Zade. I will, sir. Sensei. <laughs> You know, I think this is the last, like, council Zelda game, like, home council Zelda game, where Link is left-handed. Unless, unless you count Twilight Princess for the GameCube, because he was left-handed in that one. I think that was actually a really awesome idea, what they did between the Wii and the GameCube versions, is they mirrored them. So even though it's the same map, it's still really confusing. Oh, Zed. What is that thing you have on your back? Why are you carrying a dangerous thing like that around? You gave me the clothes. I'm supposed to be the hero of time. This is this is how this is, you know, this is how it's going on. I think I need the shield after Tetra is saved. Because I think they tell you you need it to get on the pirate ship. I think that's what they say, 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 boop, pop, pa, la, pa. Check out this view. My gosh, can you imagine having a house like this? Ooh, treasure! Whoa, Link. You see, there's the light. There's the light! And here's the end. Did I ever say the right, like, the stuff in the beginning? I don't think I said chapter one. I don't know, this is the end of chapter one of The Wind Waker, and I'm having a blast here. This game is awesome. Love it a lot. Please stay tuned for chapter two, and as always, buy my books. That look kind of dark. Did I brighten that up? Does that make it? Oh my god, Link looks funny now. Link's look, Link looks really crazy. The top of the house, though, on the roof, it, it's darker than what it is in the actual game. Crud. More crud. Darn it. Please buy my books. Links will be in the description. Also, please like and subscribe. And follow me on Twitter for fun game stuff. And that's it. Have a good one.